Guys, I've just landed in Helsinki, the capital of Finland, and I'm challenging myself to explore the city by maximizing the use of a three-day Helsinki card and the region upgrade. So the big thing I'm wondering is, what exactly will I be able to see here in 72 hours while the card is still active? No idea. I haven't done a whole lot of research, but I think I'm gonna figure it out. All right, so got my voucher printed at the Air Pro. I think I can redeem this thing. Hi, just here to pick up the Helsinki yeah, card. Sure. Amazing. Sure. And this is the guidebook and the yeah, map. Oh, it's everything. Book. Perfect. It's four o'clock. Time's a ticket. With the Helsinki card in my hand, it was time to get into the city. So it turns out it was really smart to upgrade to the region because a single ride from the airport to the city is seven euro twenty. Both ways, if you add it all up, is worth more than the upgrade alone. So what exactly is a Helsinki card? Well, it's actually really simple. Um, it's a multi-day pass that gives you access to a bunch of different attractions around the city and transportation, either for free or at a discount. The beauty is really in its simplicity. So all you have to do is take this card, tap it at the tram or train if you're gonna use it for transportation or show the card and redeem it for a um, free ticket to an attraction or a discount. So it's that easy. All right, let's do this. Coming straight from the airport, my first order of business was to drop off my bags at the hotel. With bags dropped, it was time to hit the road again. Now this is the Museum of Contemporary Art Kiasma, free with the Helsinki card. Let's go inside. Redeeming a ticket was easy enough, but I gotta say, I was really impressed with Chiasma. This contemporary art museum really blew me away, both in its architecture, creative and thought-provoking installations. I really could wander there for hours, and with the camera with me, just taking photos of the installations and the interior of the building was quite incredible. And I gotta say, I really love the green outdoor spaces that are just built around all of that art. So I walked around the city a bit, grabbed some dinner, and it was time to head home. So I started day two with the tram and head over to the super popular market square, a meeting point and a public market, which is great for souvenirs, local crafts, and foods. But I was really there for one main thing. All right guys, we made it to Market Square. We're now gonna board the ferry to get over to the island of Sumilina. And just like that, with the tap of a card, we were on our ferry ride, and 15 minutes later, we were at the Sea Fortress Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and is one of Helsinki's most historic attractions. Built actually on multiple islands, this is part of Helsinki's archipelago of islands and has some fascinating stories to tell, whether from the Russian era to the Swedish era. I took my time to explore the island and eventually made my way to the museum where I redeemed my Helsinki card for a ticket to learn a bit more about the island's history. Next up was a guided tour of the island, which was free thanks to the Helsinki card. And we got a chance to walk around the fortress part of the island, taking a step back in time and learning about life as it was three centuries ago. We got a chance to explore the tunnels that are actually still intact. The dry dock, which was really one of the main purposes of the island and used by the Swedish and the Russians before ending off our tour near the cannons. My favorite part has to be the most southern part of the island, which features the fortress and bastion, where you can still find remains of cannons, tunnels, and really great views of the sea as well. After a long day on the island, it was time to come back to the mainland and really get to explore and enjoy everything that a summer's day in Helsinki has to offer. Well, that is Helsinki Cathedral, and I am in Senate Square. Possibly one of the most recognizable buildings in Helsinki. I just came here to sit on the steps, watch the sunset, and see all the people come and go. 
And the nice thing I learned about Helsinki is that it's nice and small and approachable. Everything is walking distance from each other, whether from the Market Square, Senate Square, or the Main Strip. Exhausted, I grabbed a quick bite and head on home. My last full day in Helsinki, I wanted to make it count, and so I head on to a familiar place. Here you go. Well guys, I'm back on a boat, but this time I'm on the beautiful canal route cruise in Helsinki. Everyone I talked to highly recommended the canal route cruise by Helsinki Sightseeing, because after all, Helsinki is made up of an archipelago of islands. And beyond just Sumalina, there's actually a lot more to see. So being able to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city and literally 20 to 30 minutes away by boat, you're in a whole new world in this cottage country of places, so to speak, passing through bridges, cottages, marinas, and just people sailing their boat for the day. With the multi-language guide that was played throughout our boat ride, we learned that we passed by things like giant parks, the zoo, and the famous icebreakers that are built in Helsinki. Now, wanting to see a lot more places before my time ran out, I knew that there was one most efficient way to see sights in a city. Now, from the boat to the bus, we are now on the hop on and hop off. I popped on their free red earphones and listened to their audio guide before getting off of my very first stop to see the rock church. Oh, just scan. Okay. Now, even though you might not be easily impressed by churches, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be after seeing this one. The rock church was absolutely amazing. Literally dug out from solid rock and built with this copper dome on top. It was very, very impressive. Now our second stop along the hop on hop off route is this, the Sibelius Monument. Dedicated to Finnish composer Jean Sibelius, this is made out of 600 hollow steel pipes welded together in a wave-like pattern. I get back on the hop on and hop off and I get a quick tour of a few familiar buildings from my city sightseeing earlier on this trip. And then I finally get off on my third hop on hop off spot. We are in the neighborhood of Ira, which supposedly has one of the most beautiful streets in the city. And it's one of the stops along the way of our hop on and hop off. So I just had to come here. There's a pretty funny sculpture that I wanted to see and it's called Bad Bad Boy, I know. And we are now at the Design Museum here in Helsinki. One thing that stands out to me from this trip is just how design-inspired Helsinki, and for that matter, the entire country is, producing a lot of products that we never even thought were from Finland. With less than four hours to go, I made the best of my time on my very last day by visiting the Silent Church, which again is another incredible church to visit. And then wrapping things up back at Helsinki Central Station. I think I did pretty good with 72 hours in the city. I blew the whole thing wide open, getting to do way more things and getting way more value than what the card was worth. So if you're coming to Helsinki, make sure you get the Helsinki card. Thanks for following me along on my adventures here in Helsinki. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time on Going Awesome Places.